When I was little, my father was famous. He was the greatest samurai in the empire. He cut off the heads of 131 lords. He was the greatest samurai in the empire. And he took me with him. Hey everybody. This video is meant to be a short and clear explanation as to why taking a spirit level on a plane to prove the earth is flat is a silly idea. T-shirt salesman D. Marble made some noise recently for taking a spirit level on a plane flight to prove that the earth was flat. In his video, the spirit level moved a bit. But he says since it never went out of the two center markers, the movement was not significant. The bubble stayed between the two center markers the entire time. The level still remained flush. And he's right. The movement isn't that significant. But what he doesn't understand is that's how it's supposed to be. And he would know that if he was any good at sciencing. If he was any good at it, this is what he should have done. He should have said to himself, I'm thinking of taking a spirit level onto a plane. How much tilt should I expect to see on the spirit level if the plane is compensating for the curvature of the Earth? And he would have taken that spirit level and he would have done some math. Now, the math is kind of complicated, but we can simplify it. The idea is that for every mile traveled horizontally, there should be an 8-inch drop vertically. Correct? So we can calculate what the angle is here. And we would say that that's how much tilt we should expect the plane to have at most, which in this case is 0 0.00723 degrees. So then if he cared to know about these things, he would ask, how would that look on my spirit level? And he would try it out before he got on the flight. Now, I have a spirit level here. It's 24 inches long. How does that angle appear on this spirit level? Well, if we do the math, we would be expecting a vertical change of 0 0.00303 inches. That's not much. How do I show that? Well, the closest thing I have to that is this single sheet of 20 pound bond paper, which is 0 0.004 inches thick. That's about 1.32 times the thickness that I need. What does it look like when placed under one end of the spirit level? Hmm, doesn't seem to have made any difference. Okay, let's double that. Another sheet of paper. 2.64 times the angle that compensates for the curvature of the Earth. Can you see the difference? Let's go with four sheets. This is more than five times the angle that would compensate for the curve of the Earth. It still doesn't show up on the spirit level. You understand what that means, right? This is a tilt that would more than compensate for the curve, yet it doesn't show up on the spirit level. Okay, now we'll try 10 sheets of paper. That's over 13 times the angle that would be needed to compensate for the curvature of the Earth. I think it's moved a bit. It's still within the two center markers, but it's moved. Let's be honest though, it's moved less than it did in Daryl's video. This is an angle that is 13 times what is needed to compensate for the curve of the Earth, and it has moved less than it did in Daryl's video. Let me fold these 10 sheets over. Now we're some 26 and a half times the angle that would compensate for the curvature of the Earth. There we go. Just past the edge of the level area. Doubling that should knock it totally unlevel. Oh yeah. Jesus, not by much. So if he had done this experiment beforehand, he would know that even if the plane was being angled just enough to compensate for the curvature of the Earth, it wouldn't show up on a spirit level. But then again, if I think about it, Maybe he did test it before going on the flight, and maybe he knew it wouldn't show up on the spirit level. But he did it anyway. Because he thinks you're stupid. That's my job! That's what I do! I don't lose! I win! I win! Is there no one on this planet to even challenge me? Maybe you came by to congratulate me on last night's victory.